What's up, you guys? Sim here at Team Symmetry here with Kiko 25X, and we are here with. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Pro Winston here. Um, as most of y'all know, I did get my hair cut designed for the deck that I did play. I'm sorry that I'm looking at two cameras right now, so <laughs> my eyes might not be on one. I did play Fire Fist this weekend, just Fire Fist, not the Fire Kings because it was too hard for me to bring out big old turkey. <laughs> All right, so um, let me just show you the deck that I played. I did not do so well only because I was running up against these rogue decks that I was not prepared for, like star, uh, Shooting Stardust Dragon or Quasar, Shooting Quasar yeah. and whatever that deck does or was. I didn't even know that deck was still in existence, and I played against Chainburn. That gave me two early losses. And my first round, I lost them to time in the mirror match. So I was very unfortunate. But most of the pro players did play a similar build than I. And um, we all worked together on most of it. But without no further ado, let's get to the deck. I played two rescue rabbits, two tangles, two dragons, three bears, three jeans. Two gorillas, that's the monsters. One heavy storm, one dark hall, one monster reborn, two fire formation tensors, two space typhoons, two forbidden lances, two pot of dualities, and three tinky. <laughs> one compose, one force, one starlight road, two D prisons. Two bottomless trap holes, two solemn warnings, three tensions, and a card that I disagree with, but you have to play it in this deck, is Solemn Judgment. The extra deck goes as follows. Two Tiger Kings, two Abyss Dwellers for the water matchup mostly, one Utopia, one Ship of Corn, one... Kawachi Dragon or whatever you say that name. Kawachi <laughs> That guy. I hate this card's whoa, name. Whoa, 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 I hate whoa, this card's whoa. name. So? But the card is good. So I call it Butterfly. We, I, we call it Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> one Diamond Dire Wolf. One Lightning Chidori. One of the, my favorite cards in this deck, actually. One Roach. One Maystroke. One Gaga -ga -ga Cowboy. One Shockmaster. And... Greg Abbey Stardust. The side deck goes as follows. Two Spear Reavers, two Effect Veilers, two Dimensional Fissures, one Mind Control, two Rivalry of the Warlords, one Goza Match, one Torrental, two Threatening Roars, which probably was the MVP of the side deck. But a champion card, which I might play in threes now, is Nightbeam. Nightbeam to me is a very important card in this deck, especially when you side deck against the water deck and the mirror match, and even rabbits. If you nightbeam a macro cosmos, it just dies, then you can't chain it. If you nightbeam an abyss spear, you can't even activate it, and that cripples the water deck. I single handedly beat water decks consistently, not by only bringing out one of the two abyss dwellers, but always having a nightbeam available. Space to me is wearing wearing thin to none. And I think all five fist decks will start main decking Nightbeam. Um, any other questions you have, please leave in the comments below. But I would like to give Kiko and Slim some time to ask a question or two. Uh, one question I had about your side deck. Did you side, I'm trying to think of how to say this, when, uh, when you were side decking, were you trying to cover as many decks as possible, or did you have one to two specific decks in mind that you really wanted to side for more than all the rogue matches? Understandable. Um, if you know Brotherhood, you know that the deck is like an anti-meta deck. All anti-meta decks covers most of the decks in the format. It's very hard to beat an anti-meta deck when it's set up. So my side deck covers the games and the decks that I cannot cover in the main deck, of course. For instance, Threaten the Raw to me, I'm gonna start maining, but Threaten the Raw is, is usually used 
for the swarming decks that you can't really get over. Anti-meta deck was never good with defeating decks that swarm one, two, three. So, Threaten and Raw did cover most of those ends that the deck does not cover. Rivalry of the Warlords, I, I, it's perfect. I don't know how, how different you can explain a card like that. It's just, all the deck does is bring out Beast Warriors. Right. The random Golden match was really random, but it was for rogue decks that you was not prepared for. And you could also bring it against, against Winos, but Golden match was just a little better. Torrential is for the spam decks. Once again, it's keyword is spam. The Fire Fist, to me, is not a good late-game deck if you don't have usage of taking advantage pr primarily of the board. To retribute Mirror Force, mass destruction as Dark Hole and things like that gives you that, that chance to take advantage of your opponent's lack of knowledge, I should say. You should not be spamming your board if you can't beat me. Because if you do that, you waste all your resources and a deck like this, a Brotherhood deck, that all you need is a bear or a tanky to just explode, is very dangerous. I don't need you to attack me for game and lose. I need you to attempt to attack me so I can capitalize over that. Threaten the Raw, Mariforce, Torrential Tribute. I saw What's some up? decks playing Swift Scarecrow yesterday, and I guarantee you that opponent was tight because after that, he known that he was going to get locked down. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Anything else like in the main deck? Um, I remember originally you were running like multiple vanillas for um, <clears throat> for the rescue rabbits, and a lot of people were saying that rabbit is like you usually will have a dead rabbit like most of the time. What are your like thoughts on that? Do you feel that? Because I understood from a lot of people that running like gene warped and running that made Tensu more alive for when you drew the vanillas, and that a lot of the times if you would open the vanillas, your rabbits would be dead. Like, how did you, uh, did you ever run in that situation? How did you, like, capitalize on that? I think playing the genes and the voice raiders and the Ninken dogs is good, but I think that we evolved to a stage where the Fire Fist deck does not need rabbit. There was a time where I drew two normals and a rabbit. I summoned the rabbit and the, my, my opponent effect veiled. Wow. So, go. but it's all a mind game, you know? Right. Like, there was also a time where I had two jeans in my hand. I top decked the rabbit. There was also a time where I had two normals in my hand and I potted duality. And I got the rabbit on purpose. Next turn, I summoned a rabbit to bait out the Silent Morning just so I could monster reborn. Like, if. I don't think playing two rabbits is good. I would I would probably switch it to one or none at all. But Gene is needed. Mm -hmm. That just shows that, you know, bad hands don't always make you lose the game. You got to yeah. play with your opponent, so you always got a chance. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the one card? And this I think will be probably the last question. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have any more. What's if you had to change one card in the main deck uh, and you said don't run it, you're going to change it? What would it have been? Really? This might be a shocker to all you, but I've been playing this game for a very long time. I'm not the best player, of course, but I have been through all the formats. Heavy Storm, to me, poisons the format. One of my friends back home named RJ has did a video for me for my channel, and it will be uploaded on Tuesday, how he talks about how Heavy Storm should get banned. Heavy Storm does not do nothing for you, but allow you to play stupid. There was times where I drew Heavy Storm multiple times and I was not able to use it because my back row was so heavy. Most people might say that you shouldn't play Heavy Storm in a heavy back row deck, but I was being a player of age, as I call it, and told myself that it's a staple. I think we passed the the phase where Heavy Storm is a staple. We so. now have decks that do what Heavy Storm does. We now have cards that people have forgotten. I saw someone bait doll a solemn morning right next to me oh and God. force their opponent to pay 2,000 life points. Wow. You know, we have three Mystical Space Typhoons. We have three Night Beams. We have three Noblemen of Exterminations. We have Manelovic Catastrophe. We have Bears now. Definitely we have is. Marksmans. We have all these cards that does what Heavy Storm long did for us. Why should we attempt to trigger Starlight Road? You already know if it's not probably got to go deuces. <laughs>